Hello doctors, welcome back to Dogshala. So in this video we are going to see about an important topic that is fungal osteomyelitis from the aspect of oral medicine and radiology. So you know what is osteomyelitis? So osteomyelitis it is defined as the inflammation of the medullary cavities, herbation system and the adjacent cortex of the bone. Okay, so it uh, normally involves, we know that it involves long bones and all. It is rare, it rarely involves maxilla, okay, compared to that of mandible. And fungal osteomyelitis is also rarely seen and it is rarely documented in maxillofacial area. So, what is fungal osteomyelitis? When the osteomyelitis, that is the inflammation, is concomitant with the fungal infection especially of mucormycosis and aspergillosis it is termed as fungal osteomyelitis so it is a very rare and invasive and rapidly progressive and a life-threatening fungal disease of the maxillofacial region so it is more common in patients with depressed immune system or with immunocompromised clinical state okay then the risk factors which attribute for such infections are uncontrolled diabetes, long-term steroid therapy, uh, conditions such as leukemia and uh, lymphomas, renal failure or age. So how does this uh, osteomyelitis occur is that the fungi that is the fungal uh, organisms that is mucormycosis or aspergillosis they gain entry through the body to the body through portals such as nose or uh, some breed skin that is infected skin or uh, when tooth extraction sockets are present so when they gain entry they enter into the maxilla or mandible okay especially in the maxillofacial region uh, or any other uh, bones associated in the maxillofacial region and they start inhabiting that area okay when that area is inhabited and the patient is having any other risk factors such as what we have seen in the previous slide, then there are chances of developing this fungal osteomyelitis. Then, um, so pulmonary affectation and rhino orbito cerebral involvement are most common form of mucormycosis. Then, recently, the SARS-CoV-2 is also a risk factor in developing this fungal osteomyelitis it is nothing but the black fungus cases that we have seen in enormously during the covid infection so uh, the other primary sites of infection include skin ears gastrointestinal tract okay then coming to the radiological images so we are only going to concentrate on radiology in this uh, video so in most of the cases this mucormycosis infections are uh, uh like we uh, specify the diagnosis with ct images so it is the cornerstone of the uh, modern medical radiology to diagnose the extent of lesion in the rhino maxillary region so cbct is a uh, recent technology in the industry you know that we can use the cbct also but here in this image we have uh, depicted of uh, ct images so as you can see so this is the sagittal section of the mucosal thickening of maxillary sinus so here you can appreciate the thickening of the maxillary sinus right and uh, this here you can see patches right so this uh, section of moth eaten appearance so this you can observe in the mandible right then here in the maxillary floor and the sinus of the floor the nose is blocked with sinus ostium so the nose is blocked you can see that so here also right so these are the main important findings we see in the CB, uh, ct image of mucormycosis infection in especially in the rhino maxillary region so this you need to these three points you need to keep in mind there is thickening of maxillary sinus there is moth eaten appearance in the maxilla or mandible and there is breach of maxillary sinus and floor of the nose is blocked sometimes with sinus ostium so the question they have asked in neat mds was a patient with no relevant medical history was diagnosed with covid 19 
So after two months, patient recovered from the disease. Post that, patient reported to dentist with gnawing pain in lower jaw and presented with an elevated temperature as well as generalized swelling of the lower jaw. For ease of diagnosis, CBCT was taken that suggested osteomyelitis, the image of which is attached below. The diagnosis is so in the image you can find all the findings the moth eaten appearance of the jaw and also the blockage of the maxillary sinus and uh, ostium and everything you can see that clearly so this suggests mucormycosis infection since it is having the correlation with covid-19 and the patient is relatively healthy, but he was suffered from COVID-19. It itself is a risk factor, considering that as a fungus, considering that, and keeping the images in mind, we can arrive to the answer that it is fungal osteomyelitis. Okay. So if you like our video, do subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also follow us on our Instagram handles at Dogshala for dental content and at Dogshala Medical for medical content. You can also follow us on Telegram. Thank you.